And here's the video review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Dirt Boss. Um, as you can see, he's a forklift. Uh, he can roll. So not, and uh, the forklifts, they don't, they don't, they sadly don't go up and down, but they can rotate a little bit here. And if you want, you can move the forks in this mode, but there's really no point to it. Um, and that's about it for action features of forklift. Now for transformation, you want to start off, you want to pull these front wheels down. They're going to become the legs. And flip the feet up. And then you're going to want to split the forks and the entire top cover here. Swing them out to the side. This piece folds up like this, then folds onto the back, and then folds in. So he's got a little bit of a backpack. And then you want to take the arm pieces and slide them up, which will reveal his head, and then fold them back. And then bring the arms forward and extend the forks. So he's kind of got these little fork weapons. And there you have him. And he's quite poseable. He's got ball jointed shoulders, uh, ball jointed elbows. Um, his wrist is on a transformation hinge, but there's still some movement there. Um, you can bend the forks this way if you want. Um, there's really not a whole lot of point to that. They're definitely supposed to be like weapons like this. Um, his head does not turn. Um, ball jointed hips, uh, ball jointed knees, and then hinged feet um, for articulation. Um, now, everybody's calling this guy Dirt Boss. And um, maybe that's his name, but uh, once I realized that these forks were not actually weapons, um, I realized that he was in fact actually J -J 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 Jimmy, Jimmy from South Park. Um, and he, he tells jokes like, "Why did the chicken cross the river? Why did the chicken cross the river? The river? Why did the chicken cross the river? Why 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 did the chicken cross the river? To get get." get to the other side. Thank you, you're a terrific audience. Um, yeah, anyway, silliness aside. Um, Head-wise, he's a little bit shorter than uh, some of the other uh, Transformers 2 scouts, um, but with his shoulder pads, he's the second tallest of the ones I have so far. I don't have a roll bar yet, um, or a rampage, the biplane, but you can see he's, there he is with uh, Dead end, um, and with knockout, and, um, and then depth charge here in the back, and then just to give you an idea size-wise, all of these guys um, here is here they are with classic Starscream or Universe Starscream or that mold, just so you get an idea of how, about how tall these guys are. I'm gonna bring him up a little closer. There he is, right next to Dirt Boss. But there you go. Uh, it's a nice little figure. Um, neat. I'm um, definitely based off of the scrapper game model from the video game for the first movie. Um, a lot of design similarities. Um, but he's a neat little figure. Um, very yellow. But anyway, there you have it. Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. Dirt Boss, or Timmy, depending on how, or Jimmy, depending on how you like it.